Hello, welcome to tutorial 4. In this tutorial I will be showing you how to make nav editing. Before we do this, we need to make sure that we have the info director in place, which we already have made from tutorial 2. So in this case, we can start to compile the map. By doing this, we go to file, run map. Now there's many ways to do this, you can do the expert way and change the configurations to fast, to HDR for PAL, slow, only in titles run map in here, but I'm going to do default and go on to normal. Um, you have to run BSP, you don't have to run VIS or RAD, but I'm going to do so to get full detail, and HDR is just a bit more detail, it takes a bit longer, but I'm going to keep it to normal, so I'm going to click OK and the map will start to compile. It shouldn't take too long because the map is quite short. As for seen. So Left 4 Dead will start up now and we should be able to play our map. I apologize if the graphics on this game are terrible but that's my computer. It's quite terrible. So once the game is loaded you will be able to see that the bot can't move but but I can it's strange but we'll see when we load it up so it's nearly loaded now nearly done right right as you can see, the bots are moving and making their way to the safe room. This is because I have already done the nav editing. But for those who haven't done the nav editing, here's how to do it. First things first, go to your console and write director and to stop. This will get rid of the zombies which may be in the map. For example, him. Right. Now we need to go to SV and to cheats 1. Then nav and so we'll edit one. Now don't worry, don't worry, I will be writing all this in the comment box on the side, just in case for those who don't actually understand properly. Right, now once you need to look at the floor and write nav underscore mark underscore walkable. Make sure you look at the floor and this little purple thing up like this is so boss can walk around. Once you've done this you have to write nav underscore generate. Now you can do this, or you can do nav to generate incremental. Now this is like a manual way, but I'm going to do it all on my because it may take a bit longer. But because the map is small, it won't take as long. So just going to do it on my for now. It'll sample work in space and customize analysis. Wouldn't take long because of the size of the map. Right. So now you see that the bots can freely move, and they are making their way to the safe room which means that it must be working so now that we have the safe room in place we need zombies but as you noticed before we can get the zombies we need to get rid of these lines across the floor so first write nav underscore gui this brings up a little box first you need to click flood select place attributes mesh edit file quit and there we have it but like I said, don't worry if I'm rushing this, just look for it, take your time, and I will be writing all this editing info into the side box. Right, and last but not least, we have, we need some zombies. So, first you write director underscore star sv underscore cheats note, and then leave the map. Now open up console, write in map alpha d underscore your name or your map tutorial for mine, and the map will load. Now, quite basically, there should be zombies and there should be lots of other things like hunters. So here we go. There are zombies here, as he's hitting me. There won't be that many in my map because it's only small. As you can see. He's still alive. If I click this button, a hood will run. The problem is I got bad graphics and it might break my computer. I'm gonna click it and run, okay? 
as you can see if I turn around there is no HUD there's a boomer but as you can see the safe room has worked and it's all looking good so good luck with your mapping have fun and if you have any queries please post below thanks guys